Hey guys, it's Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Google Ads conversion code on your website. And this can be a little bit daunting if you're just starting out or if you're not very technical minded like I am. And I also saw someone having trouble with this on the forums last night. And since I'm actually working on a new website, I figured this would be the great opportunity just for me to show you how to do it just so it isn't so daunting. So what you have to understand, oh yeah, this is the website I'm using. It's a law enforcement organization. But um, first things first, when it comes to conversion tracking, there are two types of code or tags, I call it, that'll get put on your site. So one tag is one tag goes on your entire website, like every page. Google Ads calls this the global site tag. And then there are event snippets. Now these only go on the pages that count as a conversion conversion so like a thank you page or you get the idea so the first thing you're going to want to do is you can make you have to be able to make sure it's working properly so go over and download uh, this Chrome extension called the tag assistant this will help you out later but you can see right now only this right now they only have Google Analytics on it so the first thing you want to do is you go into dashboard of your WordPress site Go to plugins, hit add new, and go to HFCM. Now, this is a plugin I really like, and it makes setting up the tracking code super easy. So, you're going to want to download and activate this, and then you go to your Google Ads account. Here's just a random conversion I created just to test this. So when you're done setting it up, you'll see something like this. You're gonna usually wanna click on install the tag yourself. And so you copy this. This one's the tag that's gonna go on every page of your website. Then you go to the plugin right here. You add a new snippet. And obviously you're gonna to wanna to name it. Let's just call it Google, Google Ads. GST for global site tag. And obviously, since it's going on every page of your website, you're going to want to put, put it site wide. Um, you want to, for the ones that go on every page, you want to make sure you put it in the header, you know, show on all devices and active. You just copy and paste the code in there. And that's it. So now this website has the global site tag on every page. Now, we put, and we'd put this snippet on the pages that count as a conversion, and that's it. So you're gonna wanna go to add new snippet. This one, give it another name, Google Ads, <laughs> forgot about this, Con Google Ads conversion tracking. But in this one, you're gonna only wanna do it on specific pages. You can also do it for specific posts if you want but let's say specific pages, and then it'll ask you which pages you wanna put the tag on. Um, so let's say I wanna put it on this page. So if somebody clicks on this page, that's a conversion. So click it. Um, for the ones that only go on specific pages, you usually wanna put it in before content, just so it gives the global site tag enough room. Same settings, paste the code in here, hit save. And that's pretty much it. If you go back to the actual website here, you if you reload this, you can see it now has the global site tag, the conversion tracking and the remarketing tag, and Google Analytics. And they're all working properly. And there's another extension in Facebook ads, but you pretty much do the same thing there. And uh, that's it guys. So using this plugin, it's really easy to just put the code in the places it should be. I hope that helps guys and I'll see you later.